Hi, Breakfast Cereal Eaters, to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got this time? Well, this is from 1986, and it's a really iconic offer because it's a bit of a nod back to the late 50s where Kellogg's Corn Flakes gave away Soda Sub. Now, in this case, it's a powerboat, a scuba diver, and a submarine. Let's take a look. It's reminiscent of with one of their very first promotions, which was the Atomic Submarine. Now this one uh, actually features a boat, a sub and a diver, as you can see on the bottom there. And on the back, it's a bit of a mucky packet I know, but uh, you've got images of all the free gifts that you get, plus more importantly instructions of actually how to use them, because uh, it's slightly different depending on uh, which free gift you get. So uh, that's the packet. So when you open the packet, uh, this is what you got in terms of if you've got the boat. They came in four colours, so you've got uh, green, yellow, red and blue. And uh, it's worth actually mentioning that uh, uh, these ones were also given away free with honey smacks as well. They were called Barnaby boats. So have a look at a future what's in the box for those. But uh, you'll see they come on these sprues. And then when you actually open it up, you cut the sprues off. And you've got basically a top and a bottom which you can push together to form the boat and there's a small hole in the bottom and that's the bit the important bit that actually uh, lets the air come out and in this case it'll trickle up the side there and then propel the boat forward so that's the boat this is the submarine so it looks slightly different from the uh, 1950s version because you've got this much longer base. You haven't got the sort of small cap that there was before. And I'd imagine that's a health and safety issue point just to make sure that uh, uh, kids didn't swallow them. And uh, also all the conning towers as well have been uh, uh, reduced. So they're really, really short now compared to what they were before. So that's it in the packet. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. You cut the sides off. You've got the base on the top and it looks like that and finally you've got divers so they came in three different types so you've got a, a green one uh, and I'll show you these actually because I've got them loose it'll be easier to see them and you've got a red one in terms of color and uh, three different postures and I did bizarrely manage to come across this one so whether this is a color mold error or something like that I really don't know but uh, it's the only one I've ever seen in orange and uh, it's exactly the same as this sort of red one so I think this was a I think this is a molding issue or an error on their part so I mentioned that obviously there were three types of diver so you've got one holding the actual uh, I don't know what that is a camera or something like that above its head uh, you've got another one where he's got two and the third where he's got one. So that's all the figures. Let's have a look at it in action. So I've filled the bath with water. Now I take the top of the boat and we actually put soda actually into that. There's sort of a recess bit that you can uh, sort of deposit it in and then you sort of pat it down quite firmly. See, I've got uh, a fair bit of excess there, so we'll shake that all off. Uh, I'll just really make sure it's pushed down. Then we get the uh, actual hull of the boat, fill it with water. Then, if I actually connect the deck to that, it should start to react on the actual soda start fizzing so let's give it a try well, it's not oh look there we go there's bubbles coming out so as I was showing you earlier those bubbles come out and they'll sort of rise up the back and then uh, cause the boat to move forward well it's not moving forward at particularly great speed but it's uh, it's certainly reacting it seems to be working which is quite fun I'm going to just zoom in a bit better now so you can see it actually working so that's the boat so this time I've had to put some baking powder into the base of the sub put a small depression and get a drop of water drop it on 
connect the two bits together, put it under water, shake it, and then watch the sub go down and up. Let's see what happens now. Oh, it went down for a minute. Oh, so there we go. Got rid of all the bubbles as well. There we go. Sinking again. And here it comes. Doesn't look like it doesn't look like it removes the bubbles easily after it's risen, but a bit of helping hand. sink that I'm now about to do the diver so I've done exactly the same as the sub filled it with baking powder put a small depression in push the two together give it a shake and there's the diver it's a bit more energetic than the uh, sub I think the I think I've got air in the handle which probably is not helping well, what's that actually this works a lot better I think the uh, obviously the handle is meant to I think hold an air bubble in it so that it always remains upright but uh, that works quite well that one So brilliant set this one, uh, it was really fun to actually try it out for the first time ever and uh, nice to see it actually worked. I think the uh, the diver is probably the best of the bunch there and uh, if you're interested in this and other serial items then please subscribe to this channel, like and share it or visit my website serialoffers.com, click on Kellogg's and then Cornflakes.